Yes, hello, and a very good evening to you, and a very warm welcome to this, the uh, world's most famous ballroom, a sort of glorified jumbo jet hangar. It's the Hammersmith Palais. And there we saw the uh, semi-finalists taking part in the amateur Latin American competition. Now, this is the first of two programs featuring the United Kingdom Ballroom Dancing Championships. Right now, so on now, ladies and gentlemen, to the finals of the amateur Latin American competition. As you can imagine, here in the uh, famous Hammersmith Pally all day today, dozens and dozens of couples are competing. So what we're going to see on the floor is the very finest flowering of British amateur dancing. Let me introduce them to you right now. First of all, they are couple number three. That's Victor Berger and Daniela Dietrich. <laughs> A couple of names there, Peggy, that uh, are not familiar to me. Are they newcomers to the competition? They're not newcomers to competitive dancing. They've worked very hard over the years. They are Swiss champions, but they are newcomers to the final of the United Kingdom Championships. A wonderful achievement. I think it's also worthwhile making the point at uh, this second, Peggy, that this particular feature of the competition is not being judged, is it? No, this is purely for entertainment for our viewers to see the couples in detail and to be able to appreciate their beautiful dancing. Next finalists are couple number 31, that's Paul Harris and Angela Zeal. Paul and Angela were third in this competition last year. It's Angela's birthday today and I'm sure the best birthday present she could have would be to win, but we will see. Finalists this time dancing the Cha Cha Cha, couple number 36, Marcus Hilton and Karen Johnston. Marcus and Karen were second in the competition last year, and with the retirement of Donny Burns and Gaynor Fairweather from amateur to professional, the title is open, and here is another strong contender for first place. the fourth of our final couples doing the rumba this time couple number 39 Colin James and Lenny Mickelson Colin and Lenny were fourth in the championship last year and they are in fact an Anglo Danish partnership Lenny coming from Denmark and Colin from Great Britain An American competition, couple number 59, Russell Monk and Carolyn Smith. This is a wonderful achievement for Russell and Carolyn to reach the final of the United Kingdom Championships. They are a partnership of only six months old and it has been marked very well in all competitions.
And our final finalist this year in the amateur Latin American competition, that's Gearbacker and Trina Deli. Norway is certainly proving that they have some rather special recipe for producing fantastic dancers. This couple, the Norwegian champions, well deserve their place in the final. And then we go with the United Kingdom Amateur Latin American Championships. And these six couples, they're going to dance six dances for us. The uh, samba, the rumba, the pasodoble and jive. But first of all, to the music of Andy Ross and his symphony orchestra here, they're going to start off with the cha-cha-cha. Okay then, Peggy, let's uh, take a look at some of these finalists in a little bit more detail right now. And I think, first of all, we see couple number three there. Yes, that's Victor Berger and Daniela Dietrich. Now, they come from Switzerland, Peggy. How on earth can they take part in the United Kingdom Championships? Well, the United, United Kingdom Championships, Ray, are open to couples from all over the world. And in fact, there were more than 12 countries in the earlier round. We see now couple number 59, that's Russell Monk and uh, Carolyn Smith. I've not seen this couple dancing in the competition before, Peggy. No, because it is a new partnership. It's, it's had great success. Uh, a very rhythmic couple working on all the ideas that Latin is all about, really. Body rhythm, hip rhythm. And the choreography is very cleverly designed to um, match a shorter girl with a taller man, which is quite an unusual situation. But they've been marked very highly by the judges, and they certainly show a very rhythmic performance. And they're very attractive couple. Andy Ross prepares to give the orchestra another downbeat. The couples get ready for the next dance, which is in fact a samba. And we're going to concentrate this time on couple number 31. That's Paul Harris and Angela Zeal. Do you fancy their chances, Peggy? I think they stand a very good chance, because with Donnie Burns now in the professional ranks, the title is open. Paul and Angela have danced very, very well right the way through the competition. Yes, I think they stand a very good chance. Couple number 39, Colin James and Lenny Mickelson. Um, what does it in fact mean to a couple, Peggy, to, to win this championship? Obviously very important. Well, not only the actual status of winning the United Kingdom Championship, but the winner is the British representative then for the World Championships. And to go abroad carrying your British flag is really something.
just a tiny breather now for the dancers as they prepare for the next dance. This time, it's a rumba. Now, to prepare for a competition like this, Peggy, obviously takes many months of training and practice for the dancers, doesn't it? Couple number 36 are watching there, Marcus Hilton and Karen Johnston. Devoting their whole leisure time um, to their practice, to their lessons, to their physical training, to their health, um, and the dedication, of course, to the type of dancing that they've chosen to do. Showing character in the music, the feeling of the rhythm. And Marcus and Karen were second last year, so I'm sure that they're hoping to become first this year. Gia Bakker and Trina Deli. None of the couples from Norway here, Peggy. A very well rehearsed couple. The arms match beautifully all the time. They're well matched in height, which helps, of course, for the arm matching, particularly when they're dancing in what is called shadow position. I find their dancing and the way that they match their outfits, it's, it's a joy to watch. It really is. Just a couple more dances to go in this amateur Latin American Championship final. On now we go with the next dance, which is going to be the Paso Doble. And this time I think we'll take a look at couple number 31. That's Paul Harris and Angela Zeal, and there they are. They seem to be dancing very well indeed tonight, Peggy, don't they? They certainly are. And I think that they will have gained a lot of first placings for this championship, although the Paso Doble perhaps is the hardest dance for them. And there's Daniela in a very revealing dress. Victor Berger and Daniela Dietrich, couple number three. How do you rate them, then, Peggy? Well, I think they've danced very, very well. I like their dancing. I like their interpretation. I don't think that they will come in the first two places, but uh, certainly even to get to the final is a great achievement. and they were watching couple number 36, Marcus Hilton and Karen Johnston once again. Trying very hard also for that first place. They were second last year, and I'm sure are hoping at this moment that the steps they're doing will bring them the first placings to make them the champions. we go now with the jive and I was just thinking Peggy it's all very graceful and beautiful to watch this dancing but the couples are obviously very athletic as well to end up with the jive 
Of course, they've had to study their diet. They do other training other than dancing, exercises, physical work, very much like the ballet dancers do. Um, all their leg muscles, their arm muscles, their back muscles have to be free and able to work. So there's a lot more in it than just the dancing. And bearing in mind that all these couples started at about 12 o'clock today in the earlier rounds, and so their span of energy is over a number of hours. I think the judges have really got a hard job to decide the winner out of that little lot in the amateur competition here tonight. Well, so I'm afraid the dancing is almost over for this evening, but uh, we're going to meet all the prize winners later on in just a couple of seconds, in fact. Right after I've introduced you to the man who's got a very pleasant task here this evening. He's the man who's going to be presenting the prizes. Will you welcome then a director of Coca-Cola Southern Bottlers Limited, Mr. Ken Gillespie. So, first then, the results of the United Kingdom Amateur Latin American Championship. I'm going to announce them in a very peculiar order. In third place, couple number 39, that's Colin James and Lenny Mickelson. And the runners-up to the new amateur Latin American champions. Couple number 36, Marcus Hilton and Karen Johnston. <laughs> and the United Kingdom amateur Latin American champions for 1982, they are couple number 31, that's Paul Harris and Angela Zeal. Congratulations to the new champions and what a wonderful birthday treat. United Kingdom champions and good luck for the world championship.